so glad you joined us. I'm Julie Bumgardner, and this is Julie B TV. Welcome to this episode of Julie B TV, The Relatable Table. We are going to talk about marriage and survival after the baby comes. <laughs> like, what you got after that? <laughs> a baby. <laughs> a baby. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have Tracy and Erica. Hello. And you guys have a little one. And how old? Lucas is two. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Lauren. You have a little one, and he is seven months. Seven mm -hmm. months. Y'all are living the dream. Living the dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tiredly living. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exhausted. Exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you know it's funny. So my daughter's twenty-seven, but I remember. I mean, yeah. I just remember how tired I was in that first year, and just thinking, "Am I ever going to feel like I have a brain again?" Because right. I feel like I live in a fog all the time. Always forgetting something, always trying to make to-do lists to try to remember it all, but yeah. 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 I know for me, it took me a while just to wrap my head around what is being a parent. I still remember asking my dad that like, Lucas, 10 months year, ten months old, we were riding the car, I'm like, Dad, how'd you do it? Because you had three of us. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still here. Right. You, I mean, you had three of us, and, it's just, and it was just me and like her and Lucas, so I'm like, yeah, I'm still, I'm, now I'm just now after two years, I'm finally getting the hang of things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's interesting because it feels like every month, especially with mine being seven months, every month he does something new. Mm -hmm. Like he just started crawling. So all the things that were kind of easy where I can lay him in one room <laughs> and walk to the other room and come right back, I can't do that anymore. Yeah, Last sucks. night he had an extension cord in his mouth when I came back in the room. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. I know. I know. Yeah. I was like, okay, you can move now. So mm -hmm. <laughs> parenting's different at this stage. Yes, it is. <laughs> it changes at it's every stage. Sure. It does. Point. Definitely yeah. active. Yeah. <laughs> what was the biggest surprise for you? I, I mean, you know, I know we read all the books and people tell us stuff, but here you are in the throes of it and and trying to do married life and parent. What's kind of been the biggest surprise for you as you're navigating this? Um, I, I think for me was trying to organize home life after work life because it's like, I got to go to work, but like my typical home routine before a baby <laughs> Blown up. is not anywhere near what it is after a baby. So it's yeah. kind of a, it's kind of an adjustment to going home and getting a chance to sit down and decompress to going home to immediately having a two year old running up to you excited, happy to see you and wanting to go play. So it's like, nah, it's no time to relax. <laughs> You're gonna go play with him for yeah. 30 minutes to an hour, get some dinner going so he can eat. Yeah. And then you're going to relax probably about 30 minutes before you lay down. <laughs> yeah, no, you're going to put him to bed and then you're yeah, going to collapse. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah, because that's all exactly. you have the energy yeah. left to do. Mm -hmm. For right. sure. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think is most surprising just not realizing the balance of marriage and baby because once the baby's here, the focus is solely on baby. And mm -hmm. it's hard to remember that you need to balance out things with your partner too because the focus once again is just everything about feeding the baby when did the baby sleep does the baby need a bath and you know it's just trying to keep the balance and that's just a constant struggle but mm -hmm. one we continue to work on i feel yeah mm -hmm. what about you lauren yeah i mean echo both of those <laughs> things mm -hmm. hardcore uh, <laughs> but even just having conversations with my husband I, I, I realized everything we talked about for the longest time was just about the baby. Mm -hmm. Even we would go to bed and it was like, pull up the baby monitor and look at the baby monitor. Yeah. <laughs> like That's what we did in our bed to make sure he was sleeping. Did he move? What was that noise? Is his temperature okay in his nursery? <laughs> right. You know, it's even your fears and everything else. Instead of talking about your day, we talked about what the baby did that day. Mm -hmm. And it, you tell yourself you're not going to do that. I mean, I did. I was like, well, I'm not going to be that parent. I'm but not going to do that to There's my no off switch. There's like, not. You just can't mm -hmm. help it. It's just constant. <laughs> and yeah. I thought I would do a better job at balancing, but I struggle. Constant struggle. Constant. <laughs> okay. How long did you wait before you actually left your child with someone and actually went out by yourselves? Our anniversary. Was it our anniversary? So how long well, was that? 
like he was October to like June, July. Yeah. So I think that was like the first time we actually like left him with my parents and he stayed there overnight and it was just it was hard it was a little nerve-wracking because i i know that you know he's in good hands and stuff but he hadn't been like just away from us for in that, that long. long and i think even when we went out we were still those parents like oh do you want to see a picture of our kid on our phone like yeah. that it was still the topic of conversation <laughs> because we were still obsessing about him and like <sighs> texting his mom like is he okay is he sleeping well and she's like he's fine put your phone down yeah, like, relax <laughs> like, y'all just enjoy yourself i just i couldn't help it it yeah. was just the it's so funny. It's like we need time away. We need time away. And then when you get time you get away, it. you're like, "How's he doing? How's he doing? Mm -hmm. Is he okay? Send us a picture. <laughs> did yeah. he take a nap today? What did he eat? Mm -hmm. like, was, all these things are really irrelevant because I know that you took care of me, so you right. should be able like, to take care how. of this other one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. yeah. 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 I think ours was we six weeks. We took a date night. Mm -hmm. um, we still have not gone on an overnight. An overnight. Yeah. It takes a while. It, takes it does. A while. It does. And and we were thinking about doing that for our anniversary, which is in January, and he'll be ten months at that point. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. Right. Who knows? Yeah, it's and then it's like the preparation for something like that too. Yeah. Exactly. Everything, you know? including the kitchen sink. Oh, right. Wow. Yes. And now look at what we sent him with. I know it gets better now as he gets older. It's just like a bag. There's some socks in there. You, you'll figure it out. He's like, oh, yeah, you coming to pick him up from? From you want to come pick him up from daycare? Just ask him for some pull-ups. He'll be fine. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Just get him some pull-ups and some wipes. We should be good. Yeah. That, that, that's what he grabbed from daycare when he picked him up the other day. And it was fine. Yeah, it's fine. He worked out. Kicked perfectly. it at the house, and everybody came by and saw him. I love it. So, what would you say to parents who who have this newborn? And they really are trying to navigate this balance between taking care of each other as a couple right. and also taking care of the baby. Because, you know, I think it's interesting. The culture really pushes us to believe that once the baby comes, I mean, your marriage really is just got to take a back seat. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and to some degree, it is true that there's a lot of attention focused on this little one who has to eat and have a diaper change and attention paid to it. But at the same time, uh, you still got this relationship over here that needs to be nurtured. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you adapt and adjust so that you don't neglect each other mm -hmm. in the process of parenting this little bundle of joy? I think maybe a lot of it is just making yourself aware of the fact that you need to try to keep that balance, but then also giving yourself some grace because I feel like as soon as I get one thing like on track, like, yeah, I'm killing it in the mom game this week, but it's like, oh, but I probably wasn't the best wife. I need to, you know, take some time to refocus on that. Mm -hmm. So I think just kind of making yourself aware of it helps, you know, so that way you can kind of check in and see where you're, you know, slacking off a little bit. Because you can do everything but you can't do it well at the same time. Mm. Right, <laughs> very true. Mm. It's so true. Uh, Something's gonna start slipping. Yeah. Something, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't remember what the phrase was, but it's something about you can try to do a million things, but you'll be a master of none. So yes. I love it. it yeah. That's pretty much what it is. I know initially when Lucas was first born, uh, and we were starting to get back out the house. We had a pizza night that we used to go to every Friday at Loopy's. That was just our thing before yeah. Lucas got here. And so it's it still our, our thing, thing after. afterwards. <laughs> so like it's still we still got a chance to have a little bit of that date night at a place that we that we frequent all the time. We love Loopy, so we're there all the time. And you know the people there know us. So it's just like it was a more it's it's like a not the typical date night because mm -hmm. it's still with lucas but it was still around good people everybody knows lucas now there right. and even when he goes there he's trying to run back in the kitchen to say hi to people because <laughs> he just he, he's so familiar he pulls up we pull up there and he's like pizza and he knows when he's there so right now it, it's gone from like a date tradition to like a family yeah, tradition a family because tradition it's now. all of us now yeah so, so i mean cute. that that definitely helped because <laughs> it was something that we initially did prior to him so it's still something that was hours that we were bringing him into as well so. okay that's yeah. really really awesome we so this has been recent because probably the first three months this didn't happen but <laughs> it got to the point where daniel was like we're not talking anymore and that's not good especially you know we should be better right yeah mm -hmm. and i was like okay so to fix that let's schedule 30 minutes every night to talk and not about Strider, not about <laughs> how his day was, but about our days and about what we want, what we're planning for, what we're doing. So every night after we put Strider to bed, we take 30 minutes. I drink some tea. Mm -hmm. Daniel drinks his 
soda drink whatever and we just sit and we talk and we see how each other how we're doing right and what we want to do for the week and what we're planning on doing and all that jazz and we just it's not necessarily like a yeah. date but it's time for ourselves you know right <laughs> well, it keeps you connected i mean it, yeah. it makes you feel like oh at least i know what's going on in their world yeah. <laughs> yeah. So true. versus i have no clue what you're doing right now yeah. and it yeah. blows my mind that we have to schedule it mm. but we have to schedule it it's just it is what otherwise it is. you won't make time for it i think exactly. like with us in the no tv days i think that helps us sometimes yeah. too because mm -hmm. we're so used to coming home and cutting on the tv and doing so many things and just kind of going through the motions but when we take the tv out of it we're more aware of like oh we're we're sitting on two separate couches and scrolling through our phones. Maybe we should talk. Yeah, instead I do that. Of, you know, yeah. just sitting in yeah. silence. So what's so. the TV days? I mean, yeah. do y'all do that all the time? Or? Just randomly when yeah. we feel like we need to. So yeah. like this week, because we haven't done it in so long, this week it's like a day off and a day on. Mm -hmm. And so in the mornings we still cut the TV on when we're trying to get dressed and we need Lucas to, you know, be settled for a minute. Mm -hmm. But in the afternoons when we come home, it's no TV yeah. for everybody. And so even after we put him to bed, it gives us maybe the opportunity to have those conversations too. Because That's great. Yeah. We're just sitting there, yeah. you know, no exactly. TV, you know, so. I'll yeah. play some music or something, even though I may want to play the game. I right, just, no uh, video games, too. Yeah. Do so that's part of it. You yeah. unplug to plug into each other. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah, I love that. So uh, you, you've got parents here or your parents here they're two and a half hours away but you wouldn't know it you would think yeah, they're here they're, because yeah. they show up all the time they're oh. probably about once or twice a month mm -hmm. okay yeah in right, October, they actually came twice because his birthday was at the end of the month, and my mom and I were doing a half marathon relay like earlier in the month. So <laughs> they just kept they hopping on the highway. Right yeah, <laughs> yeah so. they, I think they're 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 known at the Embassy Suites mm -hmm. over there by Hamilton Place. Like any time that they see the name on the register, usually they have the same person that's there to greet them because oh, they're so there. Sweet. They so take I, the grandparent role very seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, that. I mean, I, you know, that's really cool. My grandparents that's weren't. Funny close by right right and um, all of y'all your parents are actually pretty close That's and a huge and that is, yeah, is such a huge blessing because yeah. they really can help out mm -hmm. by taking the baby mm -hmm. and letting you have nights away his to mom is great at that and it was not even something we had to ask for it was just she started asking like um, it was often on Sundays because yeah. we were so exhausted from the week and we're still trying to run around and do a million things on Saturday so she would come and get him Sunday mornings and take him to church for us sometimes and it was just like that little bit of opportunity to have some time for just us made a yeah. world of difference or she even did it too when we started shopping for the house and that made it tons yeah, easier. There's no way we could have shopped for a house with a toddler yeah, in tow, yeah. you know. Like trying to but get couches and stuff. And <laughs> just running around. Like, we tried it. Of course we yeah, tried Yeah, we did it. try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Unsuccessfully. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, she just kind of swooped in. And she's always quick to be like, oh, yeah. we'll just come pick him up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Her and dad, so dad will just kind of pop up now. Like, he'll call early Saturday morning. Like, hey, what y'all doing? I'm getting off work. I'm going to come by. Oh. Yeah. Just scoop him up. Yeah. Or he'll just come by and relax at the house. And Lucas the whole time is like, oh, all right, bye-bye. I'm going <laughs> <laughs> he sees Papa. them and he's like, bye-bye. Well, yeah. See you later. That, that's yeah. just, that's amazing. <laughs> yes. I, I'm curious if y'all, and Daniel doesn't get to have a voice since he's <laughs> I not know. here, but, uh, you know, how have you navigated, or maybe y'all didn't have this, I, ha I definitely experienced this, where uh, you just kind of felt like, okay, I'm, I feel like everything's on my shoulders. Like, I'm doing mm -hmm. it all. Mm -hmm. How did you guys navigate sharing the responsibilities that came along because I think it is super different. You know, you have this before baby thing and you had your routine and now you've mm -hmm. got a totally disrupted routine and new normal that you've got to mm -hmm. adapt and adjust to and figure out how to dance all over again yeah. right. with a little one. So mm -hmm. how did you do that? Or how are you doing that? <laughs> yeah, so I, think that's, I, think that's still a, I think that's a working balance because mm -hmm. it's never a it's never a set weight that you're balancing. It's always a sliding scale. Yeah. So it, 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 many times if she has something going on after school and it's usually me picking up Lucas and then we'll kind of just go about doing our thing during the day. I try to make sure that what time that we have is as quality as possible. That mm -hmm. way I'm not feeling like I'm just taking on a larger portion of a parenting role. I'm, mm -hmm. Like if I'm picking him up and I know that she's going to be out for a while, we may go to the mall and walk around. He may play in the little playpen area. We Aww. get some Chick-fil-A. And by the time we get to the house, she'd probably be about 30 minutes out. That way we actually had some quality time. Yeah, and it's yeah. not just something that 
feels like I'm just, yeah, pick him up, go home, and now I gotta entertain him <laughs> right. for two and a half hours until right. I get some type of relief. I was like, I'd rather yeah. just us go out and you enter, be entertained by things that I can take you to go see. Yeah. Or we, like when it's warm, we go to the park. Just, yeah. And there'd be always kids at the park. And ironically, when I go to the park by our house, I usually see one of my friends there with their kids. So then Aww, it's like the best thing ever. It's like, oh man, yeah, you can go play with little Josh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can play with Isaiah. That, yeah, yeah. So it's it's really interesting just to see other parents that that I know. I'm like, all right, well, this is a good place to go because it's where right. everyone is. Yeah. So. And you get to yeah. connect with them too. Mm-hmm. So it's right. Good so I try to yeah. trade that awesome. parenting time for quality time. If yeah. I can. Mm-hmm. Love that. Yeah. yeah. That's really awesome. I think, too, like, I know me personally, once I start to feel overwhelmed, I'm usually a bit vocal about it. I'm like, you know what? I need some help here. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a lot going on. And I honestly don't really have to ask for that a lot. But in the beginning, it was hard to try to balance because I was nursing, too. So I felt like I was always on, like, Mm -hmm. always needed. He Mm -hmm. always needed to either, like, he was just getting done eating or was, like, ready to eat again, it felt like. And so I'm not sure if at that time I had to really say anything because he could obviously tell that I was having to do more. he always picks up the slack around the house but Mm -hmm. as he got older and Lucas wasn't nursing it was just kind of like once again that was a shift in responsibilities again because now food is on both of us for Lucas or it's just a constant I don't know I think it's constant like you said it's a a sliding Sliding scale scale but it's not a balance it's kind of like all right where can you help out Mm -hmm. to fix what's going on now because it's Surprising, like some days I get home and I'm like, all right, I gotta cook. I have no idea what I'm gonna cook. Meal planning, that has been Yeah, meal planning, that can be huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How have I, y'all navigated? Yeah, well, I feel like I'm still in the nursing stage, so mm-hmm. it's so interesting because I also didn't have to really tell my husband, like, hey, I need you to help because right. he was aware. Mm-hmm. And he made a comment one time. He said. I realized when Strider was born, my job was to take care of you Mm -hmm. because you're still taking care of him Mm -hmm. so much. And like, I I didn't ever even think about that. I didn't have to tell him that. It was a realization he had. Maybe Mm. he read a good book. Who knows? (laughs) It's a a primal thing with guys. I've talked to a couple of guys. Like, like, I just recently had this conversation with a gentleman on Sunday and I was like, man, when you just had your little girl, did you have the weirdest feeling to go to the house clean up everything and stock it full of food so everybody's okay. He's like, man, it was the craziest thing. I never <laughs> felt like that before, but like as soon as she was born, I was just ready to go home, pack up everything, make sure everything was fine and just make sure they was okay. I was like, it's, it's a primal thing. Cause so that's what I need to I do. Keep to having kids. And then he'll just keep cleaning the house. Keep doing no, it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's, I heard that. But it's, happened, it's just happened between <laughs> multiple guys that I've talked yeah, to and I'm like, what really cool. is that? Like, where did that's that come so from? Because like, as soon as Lucas was born, and like the day <laughs> after because we spent so long in the hospital I was like I gotta get out of here yeah because just something's not adding up and that's yeah. exactly what it was once I got home I was like okay now I can kind of <laughs> I can kind of put the energy into what I felt the need to go into and it was like mm-hmm. make sure y'all was okay yeah take care of this go to the store every day for like a week straight yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely yeah absolutely. you never have it all no no mm-hmm. it's so true Okay, so you guys have talked about the in-laws, and it sounds like uh, people are pretty engaged, but have you had to set limits with them? Or, or I mean, how, how has... You can go ahead. I, I don't know. <laughs> go ahead. So, I mean, like I said, his parents are great. I feel like really, like, we don't have any of that in-law tension, but it's just sometimes a difference of understanding. Mm-hmm. So, like, when we went away for our anniversary and his parents were watching him, I can't remember what it was, but it was something that they fed him or something that he drank. And I was like, oh, no, no, we don't do that. Like, <laughs> can you text her? And I was like, I don't know how to say this. Should you text her? And I think the way we handled it was that he had the conversation with her because yeah. he knew how to, of course, talk to his mom. And he was just like, mom, that's not okay. Yeah. I think it was like giving him juice or something or I don't know but it was something that we were not okay with and I was about to freak out and he was like I will take the lead on that and I was like thank you because I think it would have been awkward coming from me but he handled it in the way that it didn't seem you know I wasn't trying to be hostile but I was like wait no that's not how we do it (laughs) my mom knows me as being direct and I is not really out of a malicious place I just Sometimes I don't know how to put things eloquently. So it's like, (laughs) if it ain't gonna come out as soft as I want it to, it's gonna have to get out. So mom, we don't usually feed them juice. Don't feed them Kool-Aid. Like, we're gonna give them apple juice 
two thirds water than apple juice. Like, yeah. that's, that's just kind of how now she understands it. You right. Know? Like, yeah. and, like he don't really eat a lot of candy. Like he got candy on Halloween because it was Halloween. Right. You know, but he won't eat any of it because y'all will. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Parent tax. I want to try the things like no, I ate. I want to do the, the Jimmy Kimmel was like I ate your candy and see what he does. I want to do that the other day so bad. <laughs> you know he'd have an issue. I with know you probably would. Yeah. My candy. And if you don't say anything, he won't. He won't ever miss it. He won't, you know. He, won't. No, he doesn't no, even no. know it's there. He right. doesn't even know it's there. Right. Like, That's it's just, hilarious. Okay. I think our in-law situation is slightly different, just because my family does live here and we're very close and we see each other a lot and then mm -hmm. um, my husband's family lives in Nashville well his parents do and yeah. then everyone else kind of lives like California Colorado and Texas mm -hmm. everybody's mm -hmm. spread out mm -hmm. so and his parents work like odd hours so they don't always have a weekend to come visit so we right. don't see them very often mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's really difficult, especially around holidays, because my family has, you know, all these traditions that we do around holidays. Mm -hmm. And then Daniel's family is like, well, it's a holiday and you have a baby and I want to come see your baby. You're right. You need to come see us because it's a holiday. And yeah. So we've really had to navigate some things we never mm -hmm. navigated before. Mm -hmm. um, like a holiday schedule. Like a holiday schedule. Yeah. Yeah. It's insane. And mm. we finally got to the point this year where we decided we're not gonna celebrate holidays on the day because it's impossible to do that. Mm -hmm. exactly. So we're doing Thanksgiving with my family and we're doing Christmas with his family, but we're doing it after Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we're spending yeah. like mm -hmm. a whole week with them mm -hmm. in sense. Nashville. Yeah. And so, you know, it works out. It's not on the day, it's not perfect, but it- doesn't it, have to be as long as you got right, the time. Yeah. the time, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's really what important. it's about. And everybody's on the same page, but there's a little tension sometimes because it does feel like we spend more time with my family because we do. I mean, right. they're close, yeah. you know, and they can be here, but mm -hmm. we just have to do the best we can with it. And mm -hmm. when we have the opportunity to see his family, go to Nashville and make them feel welcome here when we can. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know. I think our parents have done it, done a good job of coming down to visit and giving us enough heads up when they're like, all right, we're going to come pick him up for two weeks. Yeah. Ooh. And this would be an eight. Hasn't happened yet, by the way. Yeah, yeah. but she's I mean, she's done a, <laughs> done a really good job with trying to, just trying to, you know, let us know that they want time with them. And I was like, all right, I can understand that. And yeah. so can my parents, because they're like, yeah, they're like, oh, I can get them anytime that I want. So if they want to <laughs> come in town and pick them up, they have no problem with it. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, because I know my dad works the craziest 16 hour shifts and all of that other stuff. So yeah. whenever he gets off work, like he, that's when he's like, yeah, I'm gonna come pick Lucas up from uh, daycare and I just bring him home when you get off work. I'm like, well, just come pick up the car seat and go pick him up from daycare. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they know what daycare is like, yeah, your papa's coming to see you. Aww. And he just gets excited from there. Mm -hmm. oh, that's sweet. I can remember from really the time Ashley was, I guess, a year, my mom who lives two hours away, mm -hmm. She would take her for a whole week, Man. and uh, it was usually between Christmas and New Year's, mm -hmm. and it was just kind of their time. Yeah. And probably all the way through elementary school, she did that, and they yeah. she just made that their special time to go and do a whole bunch of stuff. And nice. I appreciated that yeah. because it kind of gave us time to reconnect and mm -hmm. room to breathe and mm -hmm. uh, to sleep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very, true. That a lot. Very true. I look forward to those days. Yeah. All the sleep. Yes. Very true. That's I, awesome. I never thought I would, like beforehand, I was hard. I was like, I didn't, I don't, I didn't take naps. He drink takes coffee. Naps now. But those are two things I do now. They're definitely been added. Like once I graduated to dad, coffee got added. Naps got added. Graduated oh, to dad. Mm -hmm. I love that you mm -hmm. say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't a, it was a that promotion. Was a de yeah. Definitely was. I was like, I, I wasn't a dad before, but yeah, I am now. It's official. <laughs> Absolutely. It's dad life. <laughs> so let's talk intimacy. Mm. I can remember when we went back to the doctor after Ashley was born. Mm -hmm. So my husband says, uh, what about sex? And the doctor says, six to eight weeks, mm -hmm. except for he understood 68 weeks. And he was like, 68 weeks? Do what? Wow. <laughs> the doctor said, six, six to eight, eight. weeks. <laughs> and, and I just saw the color come back into his face. <laughs> yeah. And, but yeah. I mean, who has time for that, right? Because you're always tired and you're, you just feel like you're on empty. So mm -hmm. how do you intentionally keep intimacy alive in your relationship, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I think about the fact that 
you have this child and you're actually you're starting to plan for the empty nest right mm -hmm. after they're born. Yeah. So what you're doing with your relationship now <laughs> right. is, is going to be impactful, yeah, so in the future. Much. So what have what have you done to help intimacy stay alive in your marriage or well, just day in day out kinds of things? Yeah. Um I well, I think the best advice we had in that I never thought I'd have to do this either, but my mom said like 2 weeks after Strider was born, Lauren schedule sex. And I said, what? what? And she was like, <laughs> the first time you have sex after you have a baby, it's going to be really hard. It's going to be really awkward. You're probably not going to want to do it. Or maybe you do want to do it. But regardless, <laughs> it's going to be different. And it's going to be weird. But you need to schedule it. You need to prepare your mind for it. You need to prepare your body. Build up the anticipation. And it'll be better and easier. And like yeah. you'll be ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we did. Like eight weeks out, I guess. And it did make it easier. I think for the first time, mm -hmm. but every time after that, it's so hard <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah. because I, I'm nursing, and right? So, yes. And you know, for moms, when you're nursing, it's like you have this thing attached to you all day. You and get yes. touched out. That's oh, exactly yes. what I was going to hit on. Like so after having one. Lucas, yeah, I, he's heard, heard it. Like that. I said, I'm very vocal, but I, yeah, I would I tell that. him, I'm like, babe, I'm sorry, but I've I had just, Lucas out of touch. attached to me for like eight hours. Like yeah. I don't feel like even having your leg brush up against mine. Like, no, I'm sorry. I love you, but stay over there. Like on that's the really how I felt. Couch. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, it got better, but it took time yeah. because I remember yeah. that same appointment, you know, we're at the doctor and she's like, so what are your plans for birth? control and I was like I'm not having I'm not doing it like I'm exhausted what do you mean <laughs> yeah like exhaustion is my birth control that's yeah. it but so I was like that is so far from my mind and I mean eventually it got better and I think it was because we were able to have time away from Lucas and kind of reconnect with us but yeah. truly you forget yourself as a couple a lot of the times when you become parents it's yeah. like you shed that role of couple but really you don't it's just kind of pushed underneath the role of parent uh, and sometimes you, know, you gotta dig it back out yeah it gets covered up parent, yeah. right yeah. Then exhaustion yeah. and then, yeah. you know you're being a parent again and then right. the next day happens and you got work so it's like all right well <laughs> I've, I've been working all day and it's like man finally Friday gets here and he's like all right well maybe we'll get some quality time and then we fall asleep you fall asleep <laughs> You do, you know, and it then happens. it's like, you do fall asleep. yes, and it's like, all right, well, maybe if I get up in the morning, Lucas is already up at five, so that's that's <laughs> the, done. There's it's my day, yeah. You know, so oh, I swear, so, there were times that we literally got up at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah just yeah. because that was just Thursday. We knew that was Thursday. <laughs> that, was, that was just Thursday. That was yeah. this week. That was this morning. But, you know, I, so I think guys a lot of times feel mm -hmm. very pushed away oh, yeah. um, and disconnected because yeah. of the whole, I feel like I've had somebody on me all day, I'm feeding someone else, mm -hmm. I, I just I don't even feel don't like I own my own body anymore. I right, know. that's it's it. So I think true. it was a lot of body issues too. I didn't feel yeah. like myself yeah. anymore. I didn't yeah. really look like what I used to look like. Exactly. And so I wasn't feeling you know, attractive or anything. Yeah. And of course he was still laying on the compliments and I'm like, whatever, I'm in sweatpants. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. so it's just, I wasn't feeling, you know, but when we were able to get dressed up and go out on a date, I was like, oh wait, I got cute. Like, oh, this is this I is can yeah, I'm still I still got it. Put a yeah. Lip gloss on. yeah, so <laughs> words of encouragement for the parents out there that are right here. I mean, they're they're in the throes of it, right? Um, and they're listening to this, going, that is not happening here. <laughs> uh, what would be your words of encouragement in terms of it's worth it? What would you say? I'm. Other than it, other than it's worth it. Um, <laughs> yes, it's hard, um, but nothing that's great is easy. Mm. You know, just like like our marriage isn't the easiest thing in the world. You know, yeah. stuff that's going to come up is going to make it harder, but that's where you grow. Mm -hmm. So um, t take everything you can with a in stride and just you know keep pushing forward. Because yeah, like when you everybody knows at first three weeks of having a baby at the house is the hardest part. And then eventually they're going to start crawling. And then you got another hard part. And then eventually they're going to start walking. And then it's another hard part. Then they're going to start talking. And then it's another hard part. So it, it's not a thing. I'm not going to tell you it's going to get easier. Yeah. But it's something that it will change. Yep. And you'll be able to adapt. It's not anything that no one hasn't done before. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's, that's a so big true. thing yeah. for me. I, yeah. Like I, yeah. After, I, like I said, I asked my dad, 
10 months. I don't know. It was a long time after that. It looks like, how'd you do it? And Dash is like, bro, I just did it. And I was like, I <laughs> just figured it out. Okay. I, I guess, I guess it was in you. It's in me too. So we're just going to keep going with it. Yeah. So what about y'all? Well, I, I'm trying to remember who it was and I can't remember. So somebody told me <laughs> sleep deprivation, mm -hmm. uh, a really good quote the other day. And they said, parenting is just more. It's more of everything. It's more of the good days. It's more of the bad days. It's more of the beauty. It's more of the sadness. It's more work. Mm -hmm. It's more everything. Mm. But it's more, and it makes life more. Right. And that just, like, really struck me because it is. It is more. It makes life just bigger. And I love that. It's mm -hmm. something I didn't know I was missing. So even though we're sitting here talking about all the, <laughs> <laughs> the struggle, the struggle is yeah. real, but it it's is. also so beautiful yeah, and it it's just so rich. It really is. Right. So we rich. sit around. I feel like it's happened a lot more as Lucas is getting older, but we just sit around and look at him sometimes. And we're like, he's so cool. Yeah, like we, we made that. Like yeah. that's so amazing. <laughs> like, and that makes it worth it, you yeah. know, because like you said, it is hard sometimes. It's hard a lot of times, but mm -hmm. Like you said, it's great. And so you've got to go through that struggle in order to mm -hmm. really get better at it. And there's no perfect. I think that's what helps me, too, is keeping in mind that, like, nobody's got it down perfect. Oh, We're well. all just trying to figure it out one day at a time, oh, you know, yeah. and do our best. Yeah. Lots of yeah. trial and error. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just keep it on keeping on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best way yeah. to kind of keep going, because if you stop, then what do you win? Well, and you got to realize what you're pouring into, you know, yeah. and so that's what makes it worth it, too. Like, Very true. I'm pouring into this little guy and hoping to make him the best little person he can be. I can't let up on that because who else is going to do yeah, it? Right? You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think that that's such a great point because you are you're pouring into your child at the same time you're pouring into your marriage because mm -hmm. that little whippersnapper eventually <laughs> is we'll going to leave. leave the nest yeah. exactly. and then it's the two of you again right figuring out oh how do we navigate this that that was probably one of the funniest moments for us is that we went from no child to a child mm -hmm. and then at the 18th year she leaves and it's, like, it's so quiet <laughs> yeah. and you're thinking it's so quiet and so they're like that's quiet. Quiet. Okay. <laughs> so, so this is what the house sounds like? Really? Right. Oh, it always man. sounded like this? Yeah. It's like, what? Silence. We can this like go to bed at 8 o'clock if we want to. Uh, yeah. So those days That's are coming. Good to, to know. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah. You know, so are y'all, are you on a schedule? Have you done that to give yourselves just some downtime? Like, um... Like you mean bed, like the, bath time, bedtime? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as sleep with Lucas, we each, we take nights and we rotate. So like it's yeah. his night or my night as far as laying him down because that's a whole process. Reading the story and getting him tucked yeah. in and all of that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. With showers and stuff, once again, it's just kind of like, it's your turn to shower with him. Or sometimes we'll put him in the bath too, but we found out it's easier a lot of times to just, yeah. just bring him in the shower with him. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. everybody get clean at once. Yeah. Yeah. I'll dry him off <laughs> and we go from there. Yeah. Like yeah. One, set of, one set of water, shower, get it done. I ain't got to yeah. fill the tub. Yeah. <laughs> so much yeah. easier. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We definitely right. try to do schedules. Every baby is different. Mm -hmm. And Strider sometimes has his own schedule. We're consistent even when he's not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it takes, yeah. though, I think. It's so yeah. true. That's true. But, you know, I just, it's, I it's love, fun. they talk a lot about, you know, you just can't, can't hug your baby enough. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you know, you're not going to spoil them. your baby holding your. And they're, and they're just they're young for such a mm. a short period of time. Right. And then they don't want to snuggle as much anymore. So. Yeah, we just recently came up with the fact that he's not getting any more baby. He's only <laughs> like, going to get more time. He just keeps getting more time. He's, he's yes. no longer a baby. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. I was like, man, it's like you 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 just a. You're like a full-grown toddler. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, after about one and a half, right. he's not, he's not yeah. getting any more child. He's just going to yeah. start talking more yeah. and get more opinionated. And yeah. then, because Lord of mercy, I didn't think a two-year-old would have opinions, but he has them. Almost he definitely. knows what he wants. Yeah. He knows what he wants, and he yeah. knows what he don't want more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. true. That's cute. Yeah, it, I mean, you know, it's exciting times. It is. It really it is. is. It and is. every day is a new day. But the idea that your marriage really actually comes first, you know, your marriage is what gives your child security. Mm -hmm. and, and I love that you guys are taking the time to go out on date night and having the conversations on the couch mm -hmm. with tea and mm -hmm. um, just paying attention to each other. That That's so important mm -hmm. and, and worth the time and effort, even when you feel 
tired and like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to collapse. <laughs> yeah. It's worth yeah. taking care of your marriage when you think about over the long haul and that you're going to be together long after your child is out making their own way. You've prepared them for that and you've let them fly and then you're together. So thank you so much no for being willing no to, yeah. to thank share. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> Hey, 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 if there's topics you want to see us cover on Julie B. TV, the Relatable Table Sessions, email me at julie at juliebtv.com. And if you want to stay in the know about all the conversations that happen on the Relatable Table, literally yeah. on the table, you better subscribe to Julie B. TV on YouTube. This table is very relatable. Oh. Relatable. <laughs> Legit conversation. Relatable. Right right. Subscribe. <laughs> Boom.